Welcome everyone to episode two of the Russia series. And we're going to continue uh, boosting our economy and trying to make more of a global influence and uh, decrease the influence of the United States. So the first thing is abolish the national service. That's going to bring us about 16 billion. Um, let's see. So we're going to make this a referendum and we're going to let the people decide. So right now it looks like 60% are for getting rid of it. So that should save us some money there. And last time I discussed doing some infrastructure projects and that's what I'm about to do now. So we're going to build a high-speed railway from Kazan to Samara. So let's see how much that's going to be. All right, so that's going to be about $6 billion. So we want this project done in six months. Okay, and going to invest in education. Your commitment to defending family values is a model for the whole of humanity. You are setting yourself up today as a herald for the civilization of tomorrow. Sure. Dark and strong, please. All right, so what can we sell to Vietnam?
episode. Let's take a look at natural gas. So we'll do a deal for that. Okay. All right, let's see if we could start a military alliance with them. Nope. And you're right. It is the most beautiful country in the world. Next time, come and visit my summer residence. I'll show you the countryside. Is there anything else I could sell? Or perhaps let's see if I could purchase anything. No. And eh, that's not going to be enough. And besides, they sell it at a higher price. Oh, they are cheaper with coffee, though. So let's give that a try. Let's try that again with buying coffee. I can get that down lower. So we usually buy around 37, 33. I'll accept that. That's our entire supply of coffee.
let's take a look at our industry. Uh, we need a lot more bauxite. So diamonds, we don't really need to uh, control that sector at all. So we're going to get rid of that. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. The terrorist discovered that he worked for us and sent us his head by mail. It is even uglier than seeing recessive curd on a Lloyd scale. Ahem. No matter what, the package implies an extremely clear threat against our country. We must prepare countermeasures. Your conservative management combined with growth prospects reflect a stability that gives us confidence in your solvency and in your leadership. We trust you. Okay. Although your economy is among the healthiest, your solvency may not be safe from depreciation. So we would like to reiterate our confidence in you while recommending vigilance. Purchasing power is on the rise, but even with the slight improvement, we must not forget that we are still very far from a panacea. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to um, lower taxes for the... For the poor, um, just to balance some things out and give them more opportunity. Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing lately, but their living conditions remain tough. All right, so let's take a look at the income tax. Could I just make it 12%? See, that's going to pass. Let's see. All right. All right, so let's take a look at electric cars. So we're actually not that far away from meeting our demand. It's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and subsidize that by 100 million. And 
So the water networks, want to increase that because I plan on uh, plan on growing our agriculture sector, and um, you really can't do anything without water networks. So we're going to invest two hundred million in that right off the bat. So they're asking for more policies for uh, the fight against violence against women. So we'll invest two hundred and eighty five million into that. Your conservative management combined with growth prospects reflect a stability that gives us confidence in your solvency and in your leadership. We trust you. Let me remind you, in case you're unaware, that our assessment is mainly based on your projected budget deficit and your debt. All right, so let me take a look at inflation. Um, that is starting to go up because that was at 2.68. Um, let me see what I can do to try to counter that before it really blows up. Okay, unemployment is going down, so that's good. So let's see, it's at 3.28. That's not too bad. Any lower and uh, it's going to be too strong. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. Our network has been partially disbanded. The agents were captured or killed during the operation. Ahem. Based on the information we have, it is difficult to say what might have happened on the ground, but the theory of a leak would lead me to suspect a betrayal, to an extent that lies between 12.7 and 23.8. All right, so... Our agents probably need better training so they won't get caught as much. I would like to announce the increase of the minimum wage so that workers with the lowest incomes are valued more regarding their daily, sometimes very difficult tasks. Our goal is that this increase of the purchasing power will play a pivotal boosting role and will be one of our growth engines of the future. Our agent number one succeeded in infiltrating the staff. Imponderables accepted, 
We are therefore able to release a type E net informational profit. I mean, huge. Ahem. In concrete terms, our extraordinary number one is in a situation to obtain any valuable information of tactical interest. Needless to say, the geopolitical advantage clearly surpasses the ratio of 138 to 1. Okay, so we have all the locations of United States nuclear submarines, so that, that should come in handy in the future. Let's take a look here. All right, so purchasing power just went up. Now I want to see if I can lower uh, lower some of the food prices. Okay, I'm going to do a reform for that. And uh, we don't produce enough corn. So actually, I'm going to invest 50 million into that. Potatoes, I'm going to invest 50 million into that also. Rice, we don't produce quite enough. So... I'm going to invest 75 million into that as well. Let's see, vegetables. I'm going to do 50 million. So let's take a look at coffee. Go ahead and invest twenty million into that. So we're going to do a 3% price reduction for milk and we're going to reduce the price on, on vegetables.
The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. Okay, so income tax just dropped to 12.5. So let's take a look at our income. So already in one month, we're bringing in 715 billion, where we started out as 298 billion. We have an excess of 358 billion. And our public debt, hmm. Our public debt is three hundred and thirty one billion. So that went up. We have strong suspicions that this organization is preparing to carry out an attack in the next few hours. Okay, we yeah. gotta address this. Die. Okay, let's get him. All right, we got the right guy. Now we need to place everybody else on their surveillance. So let's take a look at our cyber security. So if we go with silver, it's going to be 4.75 billion. If we go with gold, that's about 14. So I'll go with the silver. In light of recent events, we'll proceed to cross-check all our intelligence and quickly update the file. Some suspects will be removed. Our best coders are working around the clock. They will be working closely with manufacturers and national operators. I will get back to you when the networks are undergoing beta testing. Our task force has coordinated with the PR firm to prepare for the campaign. It will start in two weeks. You have taken good initiative. It is indeed appropriate to anticipate and make our citizens ready to face the never-ending threat of cybercrime. All right, so let's take a look at our finances here. All right, so our growth is 9.47.
So we're still doing good. Let's take a look at inflation. Law enforcement and members of the far left party are confronting each other at this very moment on the city streets. The authorities advise residents to stay in their homes and barricade themselves inside. These riots follow the sentencing of an emblematic activist of the movement who violently assaulted a member of the government that he claims had provoked him. All right, so let's address this riot. All right, this isn't going well. All right, so I may have to call in the military on this one. It's my police aren't doing it too well. Alright, so now they're doing a little bit better than I thought they would. But, uh, yeah, they're coming into Parliament. So I'm going to try to take care of these guys first.
Let's get these guys here. All right, so it turned out uh, okay in the end. I didn't have to use the military. We have subdued the rebel movement. There's no more unrest in the city. Order has been restored, and our men have returned to the stations. The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. It's awful. No, no, it's not a suicide. There's no doubt about that, but a terrible assassination. Yes, yes, the journalists are already there. All right, so what did I miss? So... Following our investigation after the arrest of the head of the organization, we have uncovered the chain of command and have dismantled a large portion of the organization. A strong blow to terrorism. The situation is not in our favor. I advise you to order deployment of our soldiers on the ground. Their presence alone will impress the insurgents and create confusion in their ranks. This is not very popular, but it is a necessary evil. We've proceeded to discreetly arrest this suspect who has now been placed in isolation. It seems we were right. This was the head of the organization as confirmed by evidence taken from his computer. It seems that he was preparing to coordinate a massive operation. We don't have all the details, but the police department's anti-terrorism unit has been placed on high alert. The Department of the Interior will inform you of events as they happen. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode, and I will see you soon.